Good morning, options traders. Steve Gans here sharing another start to finish trade concept idea with you. So this one's going to be a little uh, larger type of trade. This is in the SPX. This is a trade that I will use quite often. And it is called a skewed iron condor with a downside hedge. So let me walk you through the premise and then we'll dig into the nuts and bolts of this trade a little bit. So to look at the premise, I wanna come over here. We're gonna look at a chart of the SPX. So this is a chart of the SPX. You can see it's been forming a great wedge pattern that's been going higher and higher. Wedges often, particularly up wedges like this, often tend to break out to the upside. Now, all that said, we have had a huge run in our market here over the past few months. So I need to also be cognizant of and prepared for some big downside risk. So I look at this and say, if the market were to pull back, say 10%, 500 points, somewhere in there, well, that's gonna be down around this 4,800 range, which would be a logical place for a pullback if there were some sort of dramatic pullback, some sort of event that occurred that maybe caused a big blip in the markets. So I need to be cognizant of and prepared for that. That's why this is an iron condor with a hedge. Okay, so now let's look at that. Let's see how that might work. So my first premise, remember, and let me flip back here. My first premise is that this pattern is more likely than not to break out to the upside. There's statistics on this. There's a great book by, I believe it's uh, Steve Nissen, N-I-S-S-O-N, called Candlestick Chart Patterns and Their Probabilities or something like that. I've got the book in my library here, but um, don't recall the exact name off the top of my uh, head. And again, this has a likely a likelihood of breaking to the upside. So. I want this skewed iron condor to be set up in a way that if our market rips to the upside, I don't have any risk and I will have locked in profit. The market can go up infinitely here and at expiration, this trade is going to have about $4,000 in profit in the trade. Again, this is a big trade. Let me stress this. This is a 10 lot in SPX. And this trade has to be done in a ratioed configuration. And I know this gets a little bit deep, a little bit confusing, but I'm going to walk you through the two parts, or three parts actually. So part one is I'm selling a call spread, but this is pretty close together. This is only 10 points wide. That's this part right here. So I'm selling a call spread, and of course I can move that around to different locations in relationship to the current market if I wanted to do that. Then I'm selling the put spread. Again, 10 of these. This is much wider. This is 60 points. This does create significant risk in this trade if the market were to sell off down below the 5,000 marker. So let me just uh, shrink this in a little bit. If we come down here to 4,800 or so at expiration, this would have a fairly significant loss. Prior to expiration, of course, it's not quite so dramatic. But that's still pretty significant if our markets were to have some sort of a black swan or catastrophic type of event that might occur. This is where the whole hedge piece comes into play. And the hedge is buying a lower put. So I just modeled out a put here. I've got it excluded from this diagram right now. But let me show you what happens if I include it. Okay, now you can see that put takes a little of the sting out of this, but it doesn't look like it takes a huge amount of sting. You can see that we still have this whole dive here. But let's talk about what happens when volatility comes into play. When you get a sell-off, there's some black swan event, a COVID or whatever might happen in our markets. When that happens, volatility rises significantly. So let's put that variable into here and see what happens. So let's say we have this trade on. We're looking at a potential loss if the market sells off down here into this 4,900, 4,800 range. But let's see what happens when volatility kicks in. 
So our volatility doubles and it goes up to 27. Okay, that's not a huge stretch in a black swan event. In fact, during COVID, I believe we tripled, quadrupled volatility, just went nuts. So when that happens, this long put gains a significant amount in value. So that's where this whole hedge comes in. This trade could gain significant value in the event of a, again, I'll call it a black swan, an unexpected event where volatility spikes dramatically. Now, little caveat here, actually two caveats. One is, you see when I include this, I'm paying some money for this thing. I'm having to pay $1,795. That is reducing this upside gain, as you recall, had been $4,000. But now that upside gain is only 2300 because of the amount of money that I'm spending to buy this long put. And again, I can come in and I can put these in different locations to bring in more money. I can change a lot of things about this configuration. So I'm just going to look right now at just the general concept of the trade. And then one of the awesome things is that individual traders can come in with this tool of option strat and model up whatever makes sense to you. So that's one caveat, is that it is cutting in to this upside profit if our market rips up. The other caveat that you need to understand is that as you get later in this trade, you can see this sags more, this valley of death becomes deeper. And if that volatility spikes later in this trade, it's going to have less favorable impact on the trade. It's still going to help out significantly, but it's going to help out less later in the trade. So as a result of this, again, this particular trade, I'm looking at modeling at say 44 days out. I would at 30 days into this trade, I might be starting to look to take this trade off at that point. And you can see if we're anywhere along in here, we're going to be somewhere between 2,000 in profit, 3,000 in profit, somewhere in that general range. And if that were to happen, I would look at starting to either thin this trade out or potentially close the trade. So that is a walkthrough of a skewed iron condor. Again, I'm going to remove this. This is the skewed iron condor part here with a hedge. And this is my hedge right here. So I'll come in, include this again. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this trade. And this will be a start to finish trade. So I'm going to uh, treat this as though I am entering this trade here today. And we'll see how this thing plays out. Oh, I don't want applied volatility down there. We need to put volatility back where it was. We need to put our start to finish back where it was. And then we will save this trade. And um, include it in start to finish. I will include the description in the link below. If you guys would, please like, subscribe, give me any comments. Uh, I can also answer questions here in a minor amount of detail. I can't go into massive detail on some of these. But let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. Thank you so much, everyone.